Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do I file an appeal with the IRS? If you're wondering how to file an appeal with the IRS, you're not alone. Many taxpayers find themselves in this situation, and it's important to know the steps to take. First, you need to act quickly. After an IRS audit, you'll receive a detailed examination report outlining any proposed changes to your tax return, including taxes owed, penalties, and interest. You have 30 days from the date on this letter to file your official protest. To start the appeal process, you should not sign or accept the examination report. Instead, you'll receive a 30-day letter explaining your rights to appeal. This letter will tell you how to proceed. Your formal protest is a written statement explaining why you disagree with the IRS's findings. Here's what you need to include. Your name, address, and daytime telephone number. A statement that you want to appeal the IRS findings to the Office of Appeals. A copy of the letter you received that shows the proposed changes. The tax years involved. A list of the items you disagree with and the reasons why. The facts that support your position on each item the law or authority that supports your position on each item, if any. A penalties of perjury statement, which is, under the penalties of perjury, I declare that the facts stated in this protest and any accompanying documents are true, correct, and complete to the best of my knowledge and belief. Your signature under the penalties of perjury statement. If the total amount of tax and penalties for each tax period involved is $25,000 or less, you might qualify for a small case request instead of a formal written protest. However, for larger amounts or certain types of cases like employee plans or partnership cases, a formal written protest is required. Once you've prepared your protest, send it to the IRS address specified in the letter you received. Make sure to do this within the specified time limit. If you miss the 30-day deadline, you can request an extension of 30 or 60 days, which is typically granted. For amounts under $2,500, you can ask your auditor for an appeal. For amounts between $2,500 and $25,000, write a letter of protest titled a small case request. For amounts over $25,000, you'll need to complete IRS Form 112-203. After submitting your protest, an appeals officer will be assigned to your case. You'll usually have at least 60 days to prepare for the appeal hearing. Use this time to gather all your documents, including receipts, statements, and other forms that support your case. Request a copy of the auditor's file under the Federal Freedom of Information Act and organize your documents clearly. During the appeal hearing, you'll present your case with supporting evidence to the appeals officer. This is your chance to explain your position and provide facts that support your arguments. Remember, the key to a successful appeal is thorough preparation and clear communication of your case. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.